thanks for joining me. I am so excited to tell you about the new Infusible Ink by Cricut. This is the latest product line from Cricut. It is something very new to the industry. It's very innovative. You haven't seen anything like this, and I can't wait to show you a little bit about this. Um, I was lucky enough to attend the recent Cricut product expert meeting in Salt Lake City, Utah, where they let us play with this a little bit. And wow, we were just amazed at uh, what this product does. And I want to show you exactly what we made. And then I'll talk about each of the products that are available. So the first thing that we made when we went to the product expert meeting is a shirt. Look at this. This was made with infusible ink by Cricut. And this was made with one press. Um, this is a transfer sheet that you uh, press onto the shirt. And you guys, this is so amazing. It's so vibrant. I hope it shows up on camera as vibrant as it is. But the beautiful thing about this infusible ink is it is infused into the fabric. You can't feel this whatsoever. If you closed your eyes, you wouldn't know where there's a letter and where there isn't. It is absolutely infused into the shirt. It will last longer than the shirt. I'm sorry, the camera keeps trying to focus. It will last longer than the shirt. It is absolutely vibrant, bold, and beautiful. And I just hope that it comes across on camera as beautiful as it is because I was absolutely wowed at how gorgeous this is. It is soft, you can't feel it on the inside. Or the outside it's not it's not a heat transfer vinyl it is not a pattern iron-on if you stretch this shirt the design stretches it is part of the fabric so this is absolutely amazing and that was one of the first things we made and I absolutely love it the second thing that we made was a tote bag and again you can see here it is part of the fabric. You can't feel it. You can't tell where it is. It's super soft. It's pliable. It doesn't wrinkle unless the fabric wrinkles. It is absolutely gorgeous. It doesn't crack. It doesn't peel. And it will outlast the bag. This is on there permanently. The third thing that we made is a coaster. So this is a cork coaster. And we created a infusible ink design that was adhered to the coaster. And again, it's permanent. This is not going to come off. It's going to last as long as the coaster lasts. So let me talk to you a little bit more about the product and how it's going to come. The first thing is the transfer sheets. Now this is the ink. It's going to come in either a four pack or a two pack. I have three of the four packs here and you can see each of these designs. I'll bring this up to the camera so that you can see the ones that I have. There are other patterns that are going to be available at launch. And this, the four packs are going to run $17.99. They are 12 by 12 sheets on the inside and you get one of each of the patterns. So $17.99 for a four pack. They're also going to come in two packs. The two packs are going to be $12.99. So that is an amazing, you're going to get, you know, quite a few projects out of one sheet. The next thing that we have is the pen packs. This is also infusible ink, and that is how we were able to create this coaster. This coaster was printed on laser jet copy paper, and then we used the marker and we colored it in using the marker. You can put these markers right in your Cricut and let it do the drawing for you. Um, so they fit just like the Cricut pens in there. Or you can freehand like we did. We just freehand colored this and then we were able to press that with our Easy Press 2 right onto the coaster. So that's the ink sets. I think there's only going to be two at launch but there'll probably be more colors coming soon. I could be wrong, but I know these two will be available at launch. Cricut's also um, given, you, given us some blanks to use. They have a baby onesie or a baby bodysuit that's going to be available. They have two different sizes of tote bags. They have some shirts, a variety of different 
Cricut shirts that are going to be available. They also have the cork coaster like I showed you and the ceramic coasters. Now let me just go through the pricing on that. The baby bodysuits are $6.99. The large totes are going to be $11.99 and the medium totes are $9.99. The youth shirts are $7.99. The adult shirts will be $9.99. And the coasters, both um, the, the cork and the ceramic coasters, they come in a four pack and they're going to be $12.99. And then they've also um, come out with a heat resistant tape and that's going to help you hold your design into place and that is going to run $6.99 but that's going to last you quite a while. So this is the family of new products. Now this ink or infusible ink does not work on a regular cotton shirt. You need to use it with one of the Cricut blanks. It is a um, it works best if you use it with the blanks that they have provided. They have done extensive testing on this to get the best results and they highly recommend that you stay within the suite of products to create your designs. Now for today's video I think we're going to do a tote bag and I'm going to show you how that's going to work. There are with each product that you use there are a very specific set of instructions so you're going to want to make sure that you follow your instructions precisely. Um, don't just ad lib this and think, you know, everything's going to be the same. This is not like heat transfer or iron on. This is a totally different, innovative product and you do need to follow the directions according to which blank that you are using. So let me switch the camera over to my other side where I've got it all set up and we're going to create the tote bag and I think you guys are really going to be amazed at how beautiful this product is. So I'll switch that around and then we will pick up right where we left off. Okay so let me tell you a little bit about how to cut and use the ink transfer sheets. This is the infusible ink transfer sheets First of all, it's going to come in a 12 by 12 sheet. I've already cut this and I cut it apart. When you're using the transfer sheets, you don't want to touch the ink with your fingers any more than necessary. It can transfer the fingerprints due to the oil and stuff in your uh, skin. So you don't want to touch the actual ink side any more than possible or necessary. And that, so that's why I went ahead and cut this out. You're going to put it pretty side up on your mat. There's already a transfer sheet hook to it. So this one's already been cut. Okay, so I didn't weed this one yet. I wanted to show you on camera just how simple this is to weed. And it is really unlike any other product that you've ever tried. This is more like a, almost like a paper feel. It's not like heat transfer vinyl at all. It's not like iron on. It is totally different. And again, I'm trying to keep my fingers off the ink as much as possible. Now, obviously, you're going to have to touch it a little bit here and there. But the less you do, the better off you're going to be. So we're going to, just like that, I weeded it. So you're, when you put this down on your mat, pretty side up, you're going to make sure that you mirror it. Now, I don't know if you can hear this. It's kind of a papery feeling, and the transfer paper is already on it. So if your scraps are big enough, you can save this and reuse it. I'm going to go ahead and throw mine away. It's not that big. And you'd want to weed it just like you normally would. So I'm going to weed out the centers here. And there will be a infusible ink setting in Cricut Design Space all ready for you to go. So when you're looking for your design, you're just going to put infusible ink in the search bar and it will come up. There are a few things that Cricut recommends that you use when uh, using infusible ink. One, you're going to need some butcher paper. Now every package of the transfer sheets is going to come with however many transfer sheets are in there, you're going to get a sheet of butcher paper. So that will come with the product. You're also going to use a piece of cardstock 
that's going to be a part of the process to apply the infusible ink. And they recommend using like an 80 pound white cardstock. They don't recommend using colored cardstock just so that you don't accidentally get any bleed or anything coming up out of the, the dye in the cardstock. Um, you're going to need a lint roller, some scissors, tweezers, and you can use design, um, design space software either on a mobile device or the desktop. I'm using the desktop app. Now, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go into design space and you're going to select your design and you know to fit on your apparel blank, just like you always do. Make sure you mirror that design. And again, you're going to choose infusible ink transfer sheet. Um, if you're using a Cricut Explore, you're going to have to put the machine dial to custom um, to find that setting. And then you're going to load it on your mat. And again, you're going to put it pretty side up and go ahead and follow through. You're going to cut this with the fine point blade. So once you've got that all done, you're going to weed it. And then you're going to remove the design from the mat and trim away any of the unused area of the sheet, which is why I cut this down. So I can reuse that the whole rest of my 12 by 12 sheet. So and then you can kind of roll this back and forth like this, and you'll be able to see the design pop out when you're getting ready to weed it. And if you kind of just bend the corner, that will help you get started pulling that negative away. Okay, so once you have that finished, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to go to that Cricut Easy Press Heat Transfer Guide, and I'll have a link to that in the description below the video. But you're going to refer to that, and you're going to put the specifics in there. What blank you're using, whether you're using a transfer sheet, and it's going to tell you exactly what you need. So for a tote bag and for the uh, ink transfer sheets, we need to set our Easy Press to... 385. So I have my Easy Press 2 and I'm setting the temperature to 385. So the first thing we're going to do is grab our blank and I'm working on the Easy Press mat. All of this works together to give you the absolute best uh, results. So you want to make sure that you follow the directions. For the best results, you're going to get follow all of the directions and use products within the Cricut suite. That's going to give you the best result. Okay, so to do a tote bag, we are going to take an easy press mat and a piece of cardstock, and we're going to place that right inside the easy press tote. Or not the easy press tote, but this infusible ink tote blank that Cricut has. So we've got that right inside. And then it's very important that you take a lint roller and clean off your surface. You want to make sure you don't skip this step. It's very important if you have any lint on there or dog hairs or anything else. Believe me, I'm familiar with dog hairs. You're going to infuse that into your shirt and it's going to cause an imperfection in your design. So make sure you've got a lint roller and you clean your surface well. Okay, once you have your Easy Press mat inside and your cardstock, you're going to cover it with Put your paper and you're going to press the area that you're going to be putting the infusible ink on. That's going to remove any moistures and wrinkles that will give you some unwanted uh, results and imperfections in your design. And then you want to remove the press and you want to let this cool completely. Don't go any further until this tote bag has cooled completely. Okay, once this is cooled down, you're going to apply your transfer, just like this. And then you're going to put the butcher paper right on top of that. And for the tote bag, again, it's 385 for, oh, I'm wrong, 40 seconds. So let's set that back up to 40 seconds. Okay, so now we're going to put this press down and you want to use a you don't want this to move at all. So you just want to put it down and either just lightly rest your hand on there, but don't move it. You can just let it go if you want, but you're not going to move anything around. Don't do the ironing motion. That will ruin your press. You want to keep it just still. So I'm just going to take my hand off of it and let the easy press count down. Again, we're doing 
3d5 for 40 seconds on the tote bag. Each blank has different instructions. So you're going to have to make sure that you use the, the instructions and follow them precisely for the best press. So our time's just about up. We're going to lift it up gently. I'm going to lift it straight up. I'm not going to move it around at all. You're just going to lift it straight up and go ahead and put that back on the, the press. And then we're going to let this cool. Try not to move anything. We're just going to let it cool down while it's sitting there. Once it's cool, you can go ahead and remove your butcher paper. And then you're going to remove the transfer paper. And voila, look at that beautiful, beautiful transfer. And again, you can't even tell that that has been put on there. So I want to add one more piece. I'm going to add this right on top. So we're going to put the infusible ink down. We're going to put our butcher paper down. And we're going to put the easy press down on our design. Don't move it. Press your timer. Lift up. Once your timer goes off, you're going to lift it straight up. Put it back in the cradle. Let it cool down. Remove the butcher paper. Remove the transfer. Look at that. That is amazing. Look how gorgeous that is. Can you see how vibrant and beautiful that is? I absolutely am in love with this infusible ink. Now, a couple of pointers. When you start to use this product, if you get any ink on your butcher paper, throw it away. You can no longer use it once you get ink on the paper because it could transfer to another project. Many people are going to ask if you can reuse this. You can. You won't get as vibrant of a transfer. The more you use it, the less vibrant it's going to be. So I wouldn't recommend it. I don't think Cricut recommends it. But if you want to give it a try, you're welcome to do so. Um, again, touch this as little as possible. Sometimes when you pull this up, this white part will stick to the, um, the transfer. And all you do is take your tweezers and just pull it up. So sometimes it doesn't all come up when you peel it back. There'll be like a little white layer on top of your letters and that's perfectly fine. Just use your tweezers and pick it up. They don't recommend using your fingers because of the oils. You can transfer ink and kind of get a ghosting effect. So make sure that you um, follow that. Touch this as little as possible when you're cutting your transfer sheets. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I look forward to showing you how to use the markers, how to use the coasters, and all of the other products in future videos. But I wanted to show you this as soon as I could and just let you see how incredible this product is. It is, like I said, unlike anything you've seen before. It's unlike any product I've worked with before. And we were all just absolutely wowed at the uh product expert meeting when we got to play with it. So I know you guys are going to be too. A little side note, this is going to be released exclusively at Michael's at the end of June. Um, so it will be available only in Michael's for a period of time. So you guys are going to want to grab that when it's available and we will definitely let you know as soon as you'll be able to purchase that. So I look forward to seeing what everybody's going to be making with this, and I look forward to seeing what some of the other influencers and product experts are going to be making to show you guys. There's lots of new videos out today, and we couldn't be more excited. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys soon. Until next time, never stop making. Bye-bye.